In this screencast I'm going to take a tour of Windows XP mode for Windows 7 and I've already installed the two components which are Virtual PC and the Windows XP uh, virtual machine and to set it up I start the virtual machine, agree to the license and then because it's a virtual machine I have to give the user account a password and to help the integration we can save that password and now as part of setting up the machine I can decide whether I want it to update itself from Windows Update and that's all the user input it needs from me and now it's going to go through a process that uh, takes several minutes in uh, in real life of actually setting up the uh, virtual machine for first use so there are a number of steps to this and through the magic of uh, video editing we've reduced the time uh, in reality this takes about five minutes normally Now that the machine's finished configuring itself, uh, I get automatically signed into it using those user credentials that I put in before. So I log in as a user named user, and this machine's not joined to a domain, uh, but it has got networking connections. Now, if I have a look at the settings for the virtual machine, we can investigate the details of this, and we see, for example, the, uh, the way the virtual hard disk's set up and so on. That's actually set up as a differencing disk so that uh, we can have multiple uh, similar VMs. But if we look at the networking here, you can see networking set up to use the host's network interface using network address translation. So I can go to Internet Explorer and open the default home page. Now again, through the magic of video editing, I've uh, installed some applications on here and these are to work with my digital camera so you can see these have been added to my start menu in the virtual machine and the integration with the host means that these applications show up on the start menu in the host operating system so under virtual Windows XP applications you can see there's the program group and there's the program items that got added by that setup program in the VM. Not everything that I want to put on the start menu, however, has an install program. So what I'm going to do here is to just add a shortcut to the folder where these camera tools save their files. So there's the folder. I'm just going to copy it, paste it as a shortcut onto the start menu, I'm going to rename it because uh, that's not a, a very uh, nice looking name so I'm going to get rid of the bit that says shortcut 2 and once I've saved this the integration components see that uh, the menu has changed you may see a little flicker from the desktop uh, in the host operating system and then if we navigate down to that virtual machines applications you can see in that program group I've now got that icon for my folder and I can do the same thing with other program groups so by default we don't get an icon for Internet Explorer but I can just say I want to drag and drop Internet Explorer this time into the accessories group and again when the integration components notice the change that gets replicated through and if we have a look at the accessories group under that virtual machine you'll see that the Internet Explorer icon has appeared there as well. The reason I chose the camera utilities was I wanted to show you the USB feature. So I'm going to connect my digital camera to the virtual machine and it tells me that it will no longer be available in the host. And once I've done that I can see the device here as a removable mass storage device attached in the virtual machine. So that shows me the camera is attached but I can do something a little bit cleverer than this because the camera utilities allow me to do tethered shooting. 
tethered shooting basically means I write direct to the computer instead of to the memory card in the camera and you can see there's data at the bottom of this picture coming back live from my camera now this won't work under 64-bit Windows 7 but it's quite happy running in a 32-bit VM that's all very fine and good but what I'd really like to do is to run these applications without the virtual desktop so if I go to the start menu and launch the same application you'll see it closes the virtual desktop and when the uh, connections established you'll see that the notification area at the bottom of the screen is linked up between the host and the virtual machine so that uh, gives me my remote application you can see camera data coming back take a photo and that's now been saved to a folder in the virtual machine now that was the folder that I put on the start menu so what we'll do is we'll navigate down to that folder and when this opens you'll see we've got a classic XP Explorer view not a Windows 7 Explorer but there are my photos at the bottom and if I scroll to the end there's the new one now I can't drag and drop from this window out onto the desktop uh, because it's an XP Explorer window but if I copy this file you'll see one of the other pieces of integration and that is that folders like my documents my pictures and the other standard folders are mapped through between the virtual machine and the host so if I go to my pictures I've got a folder here that I'm going to paste that picture into and the refresh is a bit clunky here so I'm just going to fiddle it so we can see the file and that's now been dropped into my pictures on the host machine so let's go and have a look in the my pictures folder so there's my pictures same folders as before and there's my new picture so there you go application integration USB integration and folder in integration all in one